Hello and welcome to my channel. Now in the previous video, I have uh, made one uh, video on the how to check the you know signal on the RS485. So, but in that you know I believe the audio was not uh, clear and it is very low. So I thought to create a new which is basically to check the RS485 signal. So here uh, we have a uh, we have what's called a, we have a CP3. This is the CP3, and this one we have connected to COM port one. And this COM port one, basically, uh, it is inside in the in the simple window is configured for RS485. Okay, so you make sure that it is uh, configured for RS485, and then uh, you must check the baud rate, and accordingly you should give the a proper protocol to control the devices so here here we have not connected the devices we just connect our multimeter so you can see this uh, so uh, if you see the connection uh, when we convert from palm port to the rs 5 this one from the configuration the cts and tx cts and the tx are not used okay and then rts on rts you will connect a D, D positive and on the receiver you connect the D negative D minus and the ground is common so basically in your device some P motors or anything RS-45 there will be three wires so you connect accordingly so we have not connected any devices so we are not reading anything about device we are just reading what command we send and how it appears in our multimeter this is our turn this is flux 118 uh, multimeter and uh, you can see the range is on hertz on ac i have selected on hertz also we'll see on the on the dc also we'll check it now how i have given connection here if you see here the rts which is a d positive i have connected to my multimeter the red one and uh, the the rx i have connected to the uh, this is a black wire to the negative or black of the my multimeter so i use a wire jumper because this uh, this will not go properly because they are slightly thick in there so i cut on wire at present you see here on this uh, on this multimeter you will see zero zero so at present no signal is available on this one okay and if i put to dc let's see dc also so on dc if i put the dc uh, from this unit you know there is a voltage a prop less than one volt it is around 9 volt here yeah? so but ac uh, is no signal because no voltage also because it will only show the signal so what i do now i check the blind i select my blind signal you know and this i created a sub pace and i'll make this one up you can see when i press this one so it's matching with my on the it's gone again because this is the time one yeah? so when i press this one you can see there is a pulse going you know there is a pulse going okay so better i go to the other thing so that you know i put other one because this the that was the sub pace that was sub pace will keep going and coming so it was disturbing us so i make it shear here so see if i make it the rs 45 gives output it is going around you can say point, uh, 0.6 volt something and you can see the pulse also you know and now it will uh, when you stop giving pulse signal uh, when i stop pressing it will go down because you know uh, uh, basically it's uh, trying to uh, because we are using a some free module so it's trying to get the status of this you know what is the status of this uh, blinds where the location so I think that is the cup uh, that is a pulse for it. After some time it will go zero. So now so you can see this goes so zero. So when we press and after that it is start uh, you see still the, the signal is going because basically it's trying to read the signal. And here we don't have connected uh, any device or any any blind so that's fine. So again I go here I say the shear uh, close. See the moment I press it goes around 0.6 volt. You, know, you can see pulse depending upon how i pressing correct it means from my my ipad you know it's going to cp3 and from cp3 is coming to the com1 rs485 output is coming fine 
so my signal is okay so only i have to make sure that uh, i have a proper uh, protocol you know the i use the codes and the baud rate that is most important because say it will go it will go after some time because trying to read you know the because uh, maybe there are uh, 50 60 you know rs fruit 5 uh, um, what's called blinds shear in the whole project so we'll try to read all the status you know okay and then I, i i just want to check on the dc also let's put on dc okay this is on one volt so when we put on dc it is showing 0.9 volt okay now when i see give the signal let's see this also reading in the dc also see is going so there is a pulse there there is a pulse correct okay i can see yeah so as i told you before also that when we stop pressing that also there is a pulse going on because it's trying to read the situation and also you know because nothing is connected so there is no shake hand from the device yeah so let's see it will go up, go go down it will go now yeah it's coming <laughs> coming you can say yeah so is more smooth yeah so see they no call no come on so just to check in again i put to so you can check on dc also you know you should give you should see the you know there is a 1.8 1.2 or something like going here so that's make there is a signal there so again let's put on the, the conclusion here i put the this one and you can see i press it i press it i say okay and also i can check on the debug whether i am sending command or not so let me connect my laptop in this window and show you so that you know you can okay just to make visualization on my debug so i am pressing here shear open you can see here so when i push shear open so there is a signal in the when i press this one you can see this value is changing okay and uh, here is my debug you know to device you can see the activities yeah you can see the activities here with the device through the to the device you can see the activities when i press so it means there is a uh, there is a uh, signal out also from the module here. so you can see this is the code here so anyhow so this is summary of uh, total that uh, uh, how to check uh, the your signal yeah on the rs45 hopefully this help you okay thank you thank you very much thank you very much. bye bye